God. God is the spirit. And all those that worship him must worship him in spirit and truth. God is the spirit. It all started there. The spirit created the material universe. The spirit created the material universe. So the spiritual was the original. The Bible says in, in Hebrews chapter 11, uh, by, by, by faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. Basically it is long does not originate from things that are physical, but things that are physical originate from things that are spiritual. And when the world or the planet Earth was undergoing God's judgment, uh, the Bible, the Earth was without form and void. Uh, the darkness was covering the earth. And then the Bible says when God was about to restore the, the, the condition of this planet, uh, it all started by the spirit hovering over the material or the physical. And then the spiritual, which is now the word. And the, and the Lord said, let there be light. So something that could be seen was created by something that cannot be seen, which is the word of God, which is spiritual too. Now, now, the, and, 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 and more from the Ephesians chapter 1 from verse 3, blessed be God who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings. We were not originally blessed with material blessings. We were blessed with spiritual, which is authentic and foundational and original. It was a material blessing, a poor me with spiritual blessing. We are blessed before we have anything material. I'm blessed even before I have a house. I'm blessed before I have a car. I'm blessed before I have a wife. I'm blessed already. I have to be blessed before I can prosper materially. The Bible says, uh, God says, uh, I wish above all of that that you prosper, prosper. Uh, it can be uh, prosperity. Um, uh, I wish above all that you prosper and be in good health relative to the prosperity of your soul. Meaning the inner man must first be blessed, May, must be prosperous, prosper spiritually and psychologically before you prosper. Uh, materially. Seek first the spiritual things. The kingdom is spiritual. It, it, it cannot be seen. The kingdom is within you already. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Righteousness is also spiritual. It is one of the attributes. These are the things that you have to seek first. Since you are a spiritual being, you know, it all must start from spiritual world. Everything is spiritual. Get acquainted, you know, with the spiritual world because that's where you, 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 you abide. You, you belong to a spiritual family, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. They are all spiritual beings. You are the spirit having a soul living in the body. So now everything about us originates from the spiritual world. Our dwelling place is in the spiritual. We are seated together with Christ in heavenly places. And it, it, the spiritual world is more real than the physical. Things that are spiritual are eternal, and things that are material are temporal. Heaven then the earth will pass away. But not a jot of, it, of God's word will pass away. And Jesus says, my words are spirit, are spirit and life. When you, when you speak, a, a word cannot be seen. But my results as of hell, they can be seen. So that is why I have to have faith. Faith is a spiritual law. Faith is spiritual. Faith is of the spirit. You believe with your heart, meaning you believe with your spiritual man. You hope with the psychological man. 
Your mind must have hope. Faith is the substance of things that we hope for, we expect. Glory to Jesus. As we are going to celebrate, you don't have to wait for what you've been praying for to manifest itself. You begin to praise God even before you see anything. Because the spirit man must be able to receive things that are spiritual. Because the material things, things that cannot be seen or recorded by your five senses, come from things that cannot be seen. Things, the eye that has not seen, are the things that God has prepared for us. I say, I say, I say, I say, I say, and when God is about to provide you anything, he gives you by, you know, by the, should I use the word conduit of his spiritual word? You know, word is spiritual. Now, it, it, and the word of God contains, words are containers. It, 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 when that centurion was saying, you don't have to come to my house, just speak a word. Just speak a word. And the spiritual had to be, you know, you see, the word of God is, is a spiritual seed. And your faith is the spiritual seed that comes from the spiritual seed. Because faith comes by hearing, and hearing is spiritual. You, you hear the spiritual world, and you have to hear not only with your physical ear, you must also hear with your spiritual ear. Physically, I've got ears, but spiritually, I've got an ear. Come on, come on. So you start by hearing, and then you hear what you have heard. You start by hearing, and ears going with your physical ears, and then the, the spiritual ear within your spirit man catches what you. Too. But So ukwona ngamesho anga physical is to visualize seeing the unseen, seeing in the spiritual, having that ability to have all these five spiritual senses activated. You must be able to smell spiritually. You must be able to see the unseen spiritually. Because if you see the unseen, you are seeing the original, the authentic, the actual, the, re the real. The, the, the spiritual world is more real than the physical. And inyanga, uh, nabataga, tinezangoma, magicians, devil worshippers, they, they, they're very much aware of the spiritual world. They're very much aware. Yeah, but 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 I understand that we are spiritual. We are not going to be We are 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 Sometimes you have to, you know, uh, do what you. I mean, it's like we have been understanding what um, the, the the since the, the spiritual is the, auth the source of the physical. Uh, there, there is a correspondence between this, you, we understand very well, there, there is a correspondence between the physical and the spiritual. There is, there is a relationship. And sometimes, see, excess sense is into is physical. To, 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 to activate the spiritual world. You understand what I'm trying to say to you? Yeah. So it, it's like giving. When you give, you are triggering the spiritual law. The unseen world is activated as you obey the word from the spiritual person. Obe obedient is another definition of faith. To obey is to do as you have been instructed. But you know, if faith I can't obedient, if I can to if faith if I can be believing, which is receiving, accepting what you hear as truth. Uma ukolwa indengi shoyo kushuti uti gikulmi kunis. Umu ngakolwa indengi shoyo ushutwe na uti 
That's what the Bible says. If we don't believe what God says, then it means we are saying God is a liar. So now we are going to celebrate by faith. Because we are faith being. We are living faith life. And even our victory, our victory that overcomes the world is our faith. So faith is spiritual. It cannot be felt. There's difference between feelings and faith. So we don't walk by sight. We walk by faith. To walk means to live. You know, to run your life. To, the way you lead your life. You, the, your lifestyle. The life that you live is the faith type of life. Amen? The life that you live. What is important before God the correspondence, the communication is faith type of communication. Even the understanding, it takes faith to understand God because when God speaks, it doesn't make sense. But it does make faith because faith comes by hearing the word. Amen? So always remember that you are a spiritual being. And the kingdom, Oyamkel, is spiritual. These other things will be added. Maotalo Afuna is spiritual. Eh? If you say, if you say, because even, even to say, uh, our Father, uh, so that is basic for our prayer. You have now spiritual relationship. Your father, the one you address in your prayer, is your spiritual father. He is the father of your spirit. He is not your biological father. Your biological father cannot be everlasting because spiritual things are durable, are eternal. So since God is my spiritual father, he's everlasting father. I'm an everlasting son of God. I'm a son of God forever. I'm a child of God forever. Yes. So, we, in reality, it comes from spiritual things. Before my physical being records, before my physical being is aware of what is happening, already in the spirit, I've, I'm catching everything because I can perceive. Little people, we perceive spiritual things by spirit. And we have to have spiritual mind. To be spiritually minded is life and peace. You enter into rest here. You begin to have the God kind of peace. Amen? Because, you know, since you are a, 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 a tripartite being, you know, you, you are the spirit. You, actually, you are the spirit. Sometimes we, we are called souls. Sometimes we are called flesh. I'm going to pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Do you understand what I'm saying? Lil come upon all flesh, meaning upon every person. Upon the, every person, you know. All, my, all, all mankind. I'm going to pour out my spirit, irrespective of each gender, each age, whatever status. But when the spirit comes, he comes to everybody. Your sons and daughters shall begin to prophesy. That's a spiritual gift too. Everything that you see originates from something that you cannot see. And the spiritual world is in control of the physical. The physical cannot move. The physical cannot, you know, do anything without the spiritual. So, if you see me moving, seeing, smelling, hearing, it's because of the spirit being within me. But he's the actual person. He's the actual person. He's the actual person. Now, sexually container. Your body is the container. You are more than your physical body. You are more than even your psychological being. You are the spirit. Your spirit is the whole of holies where God resides. 
You, that's why you become one spirit with Jesus. When you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, he entered direct into your spirit. Because that's where you're holy, the whole of holies, since you are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Did you know that in your spirit you are a child of God? In your soul or in your mind, you are a disciple of Jesus. You are a learner. You are learning. Would you just learn of me? You will find the rest of your soul. So learning is the state of your soul because it's in your soul, psychological being, where you become what you are already in the spirit. You are before you become. You are spiritual before you become psychological. I say, you are, that's why there's, the war is not with your spirit. The war is in your mind or in your soul. Yes, what happens alone? Yeah, I'm a questions, I'm a arguments, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a strongholds, in, you know, and, and, and imagination that exalts themselves against the knowledge of God. If you use a prophecy about your life, God will make an argument in your mind. You will make a strongholds that are standing against what you know. It's not, you know, I'm a strongholds, they are not against the knowledge about God, they are against the knowledge of God. There's a difference between knowing about God and to know God. I know whom I believe. What makes us to trust him is because we know him. And knowing Jesus comes by re revelation. Knowing God comes by re revelation. Because it takes God to know God. It takes God to do what God says. It takes God to hear God. Because without God, you can never do anything. God does not trust you. In doing what he says, he trusts himself in you. It's not about you. No, it's not about you. Even if you approach God the Father, you approach God the Father by God the Holy Spirit in the name of God the Son. It takes God even to approach God. It takes God to pray to God because you are weak. You don't know how to pray. So you need God, the Holy Spirit, to help you to pray according to God's mind because the God, the Holy Spirit, knows the mind of God, the Father. Come on, come on, people. You, you, you know, if you, you are a true worshiper, you have to worship him in spirit, small letter S, in spirit. The spiritual part of you is the is it's where the worship must come up. You are a, a, since you are a spirit, you are a spirit being having a soul. In your spirit, you are a worshiper. The, the spirit being, even if you speak in an unknown tongue, unknown tongue, it's not your mind that speaks. The conduit there is not your psychological being. Though the words are given to you by the Holy Spirit through the channel of your mind where you speak uh, a, a, a known language you know your mother tongue whatever or whatever language that we have learned you know the conduit there is your mind but but the source of, of words is the holy spirit because even the psychological part of you needs the feeling and the touch of the holy spirit that is why David says he anoints my head or my mind with oil, which is the type of the Holy Spirit. So that you can be spiritually minded, so that you can have revelations and understandings and knowledge and wisdom. You know, you need to have your mind, uh, you know, your mind must have the mind of Christ because the mind of Christ is spiritual. So you cannot be spiritually minded without the mind of Christ. And you cannot have the mind of Christ without the revelation and instructions and the lecturing of the Holy Spirit. So when the Spirit of God lectures you, when the Holy Spirit you allow, because as a teacher, Uto Jesu, what I've taught you is not enough. So the, the, the Holy Spirit will come after me and he will teach you, he will teach you all things. He will lead you to all the truth. You will be able to know the truth against the facts. The truth cannot be changed by facts, but the facts can change. The, the truth can change the facts, but the facts cannot change the truth. Eh? 
Yeah, it's a fact. Once you are 90 years as a woman, you cannot give birth. Because we have entered by the age of 45 years, you are beginning to enter the menopause. You cease now to conceive. Come on. But that, that was a biological, physical fact that you, as a woman, once you are beyond 50, it's not possible for you to give birth. But the, the truth is, next year, this time, you'll be having a son at the age of 90. Oh, oh, oh my God. Hallelujah. That's why if you walk by faith, you don't walk by sight. Don't be moved by what you see. Be moved by what God says, since you are a spiritual being. You are more than your body. You are more than your race. You are more than your, your psychological being. You don't allow your physical, psychological. That is why now the Bible is talking about self-discipline, self-control. Self-control. Humbling yourself. Crucifying self. That is the duty of the spirit to make sure that you, your psychological being is subjected to the mind of Christ. The will that you have in your soul, because your soul is composed of this, the, your mind, your will, and your, your, your emotions. Don't allow your mind to be run by your will, by your emotions. Don't be led by your will. Don't allow them to take Ibn Dao Gangulungur. It is the duty of your spirit, the born again spirit, to make sure that your mind is subject to the Holy Spirit. Because the power for, for, for your spirit to, to, to run your mind, bless the Lord, oh my soul, that the, the spirit of David talking to his soul to bless the Lord. As you worship in your soul, you are praising God in your, I mean, as you worship in your spirit, you are praising God in your soul. You, you enter his presence with thanksgiving, hallelujah, his court with praise. You have to teach, hallelujah, you, are a, you have a duty under the auspices of the Holy Spirit as a spirit man to bless, to, to, to train your mind. Come on. Yeah, you, you have to have, you know, a mind that is well trained is able to run the body. If we present your body as a living sacrifice, it, the Bible says it's a reasoning service. It is the service of your reasoning. It is the spiritual mind, uh, hallelujah, in, injected by the mind of Christ that is well able to control, to run the body in a way that God will. Even the way you dress yourself, if your mind is well renewed and becoming the mind of Christ and becoming a spiritual mind, to be a spiritual mind is to have your mind under the influence of the Holy Spirit. Amen. To be spiritual minded is to have your mind no more under the influence of your emotions. Because it's in your mind where you take decisions and choices. In fact, the devil is after your mind more than any part of your life. Because it's, the mind is like a manager of your life. But the spirit is your director of your mind. It is the core director with the Holy Spirit of your life. The moment you are born again, your whole life is under new management. It's, it's biblical. Because now the body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. And the body has got members of Jesus Christ. But if your mind, because you can be born again and yet be carnal minded. To be carnal is to be a baby in Christ. To be carnal is to be a baby in Christ. To be spiritual is to be matured, to be a man in Christ. It's where now you become a son of God. Once you allow the Holy Spirit to lead you, you are known as the son of God. That is why now the Bible says, unto us the child is born. God could not give us Jesus Christ as a child. And then the son is given. The child is born. It's okay, the child is born. But when it comes to giving, he must grow to be a son. Uh, 
at the age of 30 he said, he said I'm doing the will of the father the son cannot do anything without the father and all those that are led by the spirit not by their emotions not by their flesh not by their own will are called the sons of God you remember when God said uh, words of affirmation at Jesu in the river Jordan this is my beloved he didn't say this is my beloved child he said this is my beloved son So, to be a son of God, it's an al- another level of growth spiritually. You start by being a child, which is a zotin. It has a relationship part work on ngulu ngulu. No munga ba no hundred years you will see you will be a child of God, but you are not allowed to be childish in your psychological being. Come on, people, because. Uh, authority relationship some address as God address as your father because of the spirit of Jesus in you that enables you to say Abba Father for us to say Abba Father it is by the Holy Spirit within us yeah? if you have the spirit of Christ within you you are regenerated if you have the Holy Spirit within you you are empowered by receiving Jesus, again, Now, the Bible says, once you have the Spirit of Christ in you, hallelujah, you belong to Jesus. Now, that spiritual birth, that spiritual regeneration, you don't feel it. Spiritual things, you know, it's like the, 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 the divine power of God. They are, they are so powerful. Amanda and Gulu are so powerful, you cannot feel them. It's like Mkushan, if flu, hallelujah, my gain, and my symptoms are gone. Ah, she shook well. Uba, Uba, and the signers, we are Timula, she said, you know, a cast look at the flu, it's powerful. But the HIV, in Ganagana, is what? Uzuchelwe, so you went to check up, Utuana, Ekazin, there are viruses. My sivela, is if there's a symptoms, is we see Kaza, is it Chella when saying great deal, Musebins? Got a cutting again, you can't, we can't feel anything. So I go show look at the weak, could cause good strong in Jobinga Swagan. You don't feel your soul, you don't feel yourself inside your body, you don't feel anything, you don't feel life within you, you don't feel Jesus within you. He abides by faith, not by feelings. He dwells within you by faith. That's why you have to learn to be what God says you are before you feel it. Because you don't receive by faith. You don't understand. I mean, you don't receive by hands, physical hands. You start receiving. That's why I said your spirit being is a reception. And faith in that spiritual being is a receptionist. Amen. Amen. Yeah. So it's not even a healing through your spirit. It is received by a receptionist, which is your faith. So that's why Jesus says, if you pray, believe that you receive while when you pray. So that is why the Bible says, by prayer, supplication, and thanksgiving. You thank God. Why? Immediately after praying, you thank God. So now, that's why it's very important. Faith will receive from God. Because it takes faith to receive from God. Because you receive by faith. You receive your car by faith. That spiritual car that cannot be seen is, is real. But uh, there's something wrong here. 
Kanti uyongi cho ubambe i blessing yo kolo engabon. Liti Bible, Thomas, Ngoba Sung Patenge Santa, Wang Tinta, was seven sa is sense of touch before u call. Kushut when our hambing or call or hambang or born. Was it again? Let me tell you, Thomas. Babu sisi we aba kolo benga gabu. Remember, faith is the substance of things you're hoping for. Meaning, faith is the reality of things you're hoping for. To hope is to expect for something that is still coming. Instead of thinking about your problem, cast your cares upon him. Don't even give God your cares. Cast your cares. It's no more my problem. I refuse to think problem. I'm thinking answers now. I, I, I can even see in the faculty of my imagination. I see my child. You can even say, it sounds, I mean, it doesn't sound rational, but it's, it's an act of faith. You can even say, we're spongy. Let's assemble the same concern. Asset heaven. Footna lot heaven. Asset heaven. Got up if faith in Tatim Little. Because faith is the substance of things we are expecting. The expectation is show I'm waiting for the manifestation of what I have right now in the spirit. I'm waiting for the birth of what I have in the womb of my spirit. Soon and very soon, this thing that I have in the faculty of the imagination, I can see because you must be able to see what has been promised to you. It's because what he had, he has had was interpreted into what he can see. Second line said, "Gama nga maswi uzwilu ngi kulmenga ma chips manji ma ingene ngondwe ni atoli kwa aba istombe selento aizwili wa ibona inga gafiki wa isi achabula kushu njobe chabula usai receive ama chips but in a form of a promise I promise sewa ma chips. Ngobu tembegi ili lo tembisa. Let all men be liars and let only God be true. Nume unkunukulu kulumdenge eko iko na masa kulume. Because it is, since it is impossible for God to lie, if he says, Le sutengi kogile is white, is not yet lying. Funege manje, he is suit manje, is aligned namaz. Ibe mshope njongo kushokwe isu. So, you, you have to receive if, because it does not depend, it does not negotiate within the environment. You are 90 years, now he has born at the age of 90. Uh, there is even no reference of a woman who gave birth at the age of 90, who conceived at the age of 90. So, so you see, a concubine. No. When the declaration, when the decree, what next year? You know, it's part of prayer too. Did you know that you can pray by saying to the mountain, not, not saying to God? By saying to the situation, you are praying. I say, by saying to the situation, you are still praying. 
but your prayer is in a form of commanding. You know, did you know that your prayer can charge your spiritual battery? The Bible says, he who pray in an unknown tongue, he is speaking mysteries with God. You understand what I'm trying to say to you? He's speaking what? Look at me. Yeah, now, he, he edifies himself. If, he, if he, he is praying in an unknown tongue, he's, 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 he's putting his spiritual battery, he's charging the inner man. In fact, as you speak in an unknown tongue, a gift of healing is a manifest as you speak because you speak, it's your spirit, God, speaking to the spirit of God. You speak mysteries, your mind is unfruitful, your mind does not understand. In and he lim as fundelwa. You don't fund is because it is the language of the spirit. Ukfunda is the state of your mind. Fundani kimi goba gungimnen no if mane look pumla in pefmloye. Ukfunda is of your soul. Because it's in your soul where you become, and man became a living soul. And then the breath, the, the breath that was breathed into men's nostrils was the spirit of life. In the spirit, man was not becoming. He was already, while you were still in the bosom of the Father, when he was released from the Father into an earthen vessel. Hallelujah. Earthen vessels in the spirit from God. Hallelujah. The third part, part of a, your personality was introduced was made manifest. Ukhana, where electric current with an element, yes, of heat is the result. Ukhana, where breath from God, hallelujah, that cannot be seen. And 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 the and the and the and the clay and the body. Then when Sana Zombi lays into and then this soul within the spirit of a man was released. Because your soul is 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 a is a part of yourself consciousness that is why unless your soul is developed until your soul is developed that is what we mean by growth even to grow spiritually is through the renewing of your mind huh? Because as your mind is renewed, what is in your spirit is released. You become spiritual minded. Your spirit being together with the Holy Spirit are, 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 are beginning to influence your mind. You align yourself not with your physical being. You align your soul with your spiritual being. That is why your soul has to be renewed. Meaning it must be in, in an alignment with the new creation, which is your spirit. If anyone is, it's your spirit that is well able to be in Christ. Because it, you become one. Did the Bible also a prostitute? He becomes one flesh with her. He becomes one spirit with him. So when you receive Jesus Christ, he goes straight to your spirit, spirit to spirit. Deep is calling unto deep. I say the deep, the deep, the deepest part, the innermost part of you, glory to Jesus, is mixing with the, 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 the spirit of the living God. That's what that is what makes you when you die, it's not the end. Your soul will not vanish because of death. Because your soul is connected with your spirit. And the soul of an animal is connected with the body. An animal doesn't have spirit. So that is why Magufum Zimba, no, the soul, is, it vanishes. Because it was connected with the flesh. So, soul inside, like an egg. 
the, 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 the shell stands for your body that can be seen. But the white substance stands for your soul. And the yellow substance, la pupumokona, stands for your spirit. Without the yolk, there can be no chicken. Without the spirit, there's no identity. There's, you are not there. You are just an animal. And that is why a person, when he dies spiritually, when he disconnects himself from the life-giving spirit of Jesus, because the first Adam was a living soul, the second Adam was a life-giving spirit. So the moment you disconnect with the spirit of God, the life-giving spirit, you die spiritually. And then once you die spiritually, the, the remaining active part of you is your body and your soul. And you act like an animal. Animals, spirit, soul, and body. Abane Trinity, So the moment you are born again, your spirit is resurrected. There's a, hallelujah. <laughs> your, your spirit equals like a, 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 the, the most powerful miracle in the whole universe. Yeah. Oh, from death. Only feel physical. spiritual. be disconnected with life, which is God Himself. So it's not expected of you to act like an animal, Master Sindhisim. Tell Michael one, life is spiritual. Say, life is spiritual. Yeah. You see? Umutu velengo kuti, umutu i hybrid. Kushangane the material with the spiritual. Chapter 7, chapter 3, verse 7. Umkulungulu amenza umuntu go to Lomshan. Why is it? Gushutum tatim sabati. Uyam Suanis in Sabati is Suan and Jabat. Uzi Sangan and Omoya was a Zulu. How Nikon? Uzi Uzelum Zimbuel in Sabati, Funoka Lusuan and Omoya. In Sabati, I was a queen and Lentabat, a sang and no more. Instead, Lentabati is all laula hile. Could I have dominion? Kusho, Kusho, the spirit, sick of in Sabat. So that is why much your most in this your humanity is made to be separated from other people. That is why we kishwa and show into in Zamasi, Mabe M Samo outside, because we in Shabbat a tattoo in Shabbati, ya pef mle. And now also kube be in Shabbat, you become a living soul. Got an eskatu satatu alapa ubu in Shabbat. Yes. Yes. pef mle, you become a living soul. Once you pef mle, more like a Christ, you 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 no more a sinner. You you know more a, a gentile, you know more Nikona a dead person. You know more just a human being. You know more just a man of God. Men of God, Ugabi. Men of God, Ushabat Dalo Ngulungu. Kona no men of God, Ushababi Zongulungu. Wa senzai na sisi singa bantu back. Sing a band to back, a band to mankind, a band. Mao Cindy, so we are so one is what they keep a band to in Kushon Jalo Paulos, Zok Tuma Gobo Foot. Got a gang, Tuma Bantu in Nakalanga keep a band to in. Basically, people don't conform yourself to the standards of this world because you are no more of this world. Your citizenship is in heaven. You are the light of the world, you are the salt of the earth. 
You are special. You are unique. Utatwe ezizwe in. Kwa kiwi siizwe ngawe. Siizizwe siisha. Which will last throughout eternity. Kwa tasake wenge ezizwe in ingi. Asisafani na banda banga kolwa. Yes, katikulu kule tana. Wai hamba hamba. Ashuwa ni sisi into. Simbone shuwa ni sa. Umnya ama nukari. Simbone shuwa ni sa. Amanzi na manzi. Simbone shuwa ni sa. Umshaba na manzi. On the third day. Oh, ni kona anoke basala? So, uma unkulu kule tana. Kupa kondu uwe shuwa ni sa. Liti paipe, maube konu meshugo, patu kwa bakolo yonu, abanga kono. Kutu wa bantu mabasazu, kuti, singa bapatu mfitla kato. Kutu wa indalo, iya bubula, ila ilangazelela, uwa mbulwa kwa matota na gangunguru. It's in two phases, Lord. Kukonu kwa mbulwa kwa matota na gangunguru. Besela imshabini, konu kwa mbulwa kwa matota na gangunguru. Maesefana na ukrestu bodily. So the manifested sons of God, glory to Jesus. Ya chabuli ndalo, maibona a manifested son of God. Uwakaba anguti ndalo ayazu kutu chesu indota na kankuluku. Isocha lazi. Kota linga kazi isocha, naba priest benge mbulelo, isdawa, iskebe ngu sa mbulelo. Sati lo, ui nkos. Enda kapelela, ui embusu enu. Kushiskebe ngu, esile nge spamba ngu. Sifige ula isambu, sifume umoya waso. Inshishin. Inshishin is something that you know without anybody telling you. So the spirit, the spirit part of this man, hallelujah, had a revelation about the brother, about the man. Engangina, yema pakaten, this man. Because your spirit does not originate from your, from your past generation. Your spirit originates from God. Your body originates from the last generation. Abesu. Get your body. Isuga kui last generation. But contribute a physical seed. But your spirit comes from above. Generations were just pipes. But the reservoir is God himself. For a man, which has own gain in Tinyako and Gena, a hammer pipe, got a sugar with reservoir, they don't originate from the tap. The tap is not the origin of water. Water comes from the reservoir. So those pipes are Tunyawa for maybe 20 kilometers. Our Hambi and Akunyawa in pieces, those are generations. Within these generations. Your spirit was there. That's why we live. The fourth generation from Abraham was already there in the loins of Abraham. I say we The fourth generation from Abraham was already active, giving tithes. Whilst he was still in the loins of Abraham. Before the body was formed, before I formed you. The physical part of you. I knew you, the spiritual part of you. There's part that is known within you. There's part that is formed within you. So don't allow the part that is known to be controlled by the part that is formed. Let it try self-control. It's when this, the part of you, the spiritual part of you, that is known from the foundations of the world, that is chosen from the foundation of the, of the world, is having full control over the part that is formed. I believe with all my heart with each and every word that, that is released upon you. And, the, uh, and South Africa will be highly honored to have someone of your caliber. 
you, you are an alien. You are coming from another planet called heaven. And Nakona, the third one. You are strangers in this world. At the same time, you are ambassadors. Don't allow yourself to be affected. Is in those abantu abang ama citizens ala imshabe when we citizen yase isuwi. Something like poverty does not apply to you. It's not your portion. Since you are born again, sickness and disease they don't apply to you. They are, they are not your inheritance. They are not even found in the vocabulary of your life. I say they are not found in the vocabulary of your new life. So you must remain what you must remain what God says you are. Be what God says you are. Believe what God says you are. And be what God says you are. Behave the way you are, as God said you are. And begin to do what God said you can do and have what God said you have. Did you know before I finalize Ezulu? In that way, he released him, Sabin, get talk. You should see sign it, Ezulu. He has fungal, as if fungal. Tell me, tell me, what is fungal? We are going to call him fungal. If fungal, we are. Kushuti na inge kasa ichik. Ngobu se signel. Upila kwa kwenye mene sex signel. Jobu ngapili nje ukuta uga i ngokolo. M7 zino kretiyo. Because ukolo ukufaga ekumle. Ukolo is a good usher to usher you into rest. Ainga fani mpilo ako jenga mpilo katu mpilo usese kipit. After your redemption, kuna face o kalu shulegu yu. Singa ibizo kuti a childhood face. Usa 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 ngelo ubisa. Ma ukola iya shinji daid. Ma ueli Jordan iya shinji yangu mugi man. Nikona basa lo, unga basa kubega ne man, se se kuhubi sine nyu singali. Unga basa kubega, unga muga in man, aga tebe tuala on a daily basis, because man jibange na kuinyo diet, which is a sign of kula wabo. You must cross twice. Guess what? But if you cross the Red Sea. It's, it's, a, it's a type of water baptism. Egg introducer into new life. We are wafa. Gets cut off your wound. Go off away and go far. Go to go off your wound. Then the one you are go so far. I'm a person who has worked the last. Go back. It's the last. The last egg must be. Musuku siwa izinto ezas kuzo sapila se ufeno Christ. Futi lapa ku Christ utatekenge ge surprise Satan gubute maufa gubute ma ma maunge na ku ku redsi ukale waafa ku redsi wanu aju. As you enter your redsi ubunge na ku spiritual grave. Geska tu puma ngale ku nzeka resurrection. Wa pila manje usupila ku enye i dimension. Ufile kipite, uzupile ngapa. So, ngezika tulua uwe lulua nsholbufu, ubu ngwajwa. If it was a chain of three days, jago chese sen kwa ben, nawe tata ta chain, upumele nga peshe, upumele pile nogusha. Ngwapsa ikulu umila ngwa chese kipite. Ngwapsa mbonu faro, wate kila zi. Ngwala zika faro, zi upelela elua nsholbufu. Konde kate si kasele, efnege mao usungena. Olo atolmo fu sale kona. Unga psal tatu hambo. Ol pege kanan, nento za sekipit. Ezi foza kona. Hallelujah. 
ama depression za kona if someone buys a house eyithenga kubantu akade bevele behlala ke yona ebe seba ne title deed of that house he is the owner of the house be sahlela but he is the owner now the next thing now sekufuneke benze njani ba vacate ngoba sebehlela endlini ngesiyono yabo uma be vacate kufuneke kufika itrack enkulu ihambe ne finish ne top za khona eseyigugile na makhetini ase ase dabukile yonke bahambe nayo yonke na ma wardrobe esetshekile abahambe nayo yonke lonto Ngoba manje job suyithengele lendlu nje mawufika uzofika neya ke finish. If finish has zulwini it's healing, forgiveness. Eh? Love, peace, joy. If finish of the one. Now sithengiwe ngegazi ka Jesu. Asisebona nabe ethu we as bona nabaka satan ama demon awasakwazi ukuthi indlu yethu le because now the house is sin a land lord ya khona that's why we receive jesus christ and confess him as lord meaning owner allow jesus to own you so that u satan cannot dis to reown you uzobana enkinga ukuthi ubani uma ngabe usazi owna wena kulula ukuthi usathan aphinde that is why ezamu ebuyela ama demon aphuma aphinde ocheka ukuthi la ekhishwe khona azofika ku kunjani mayifika ku empty alanda amanya u7 iba indlu engangeneki iba indlu engangena na izifo kalula Iba na resistance resist the devil he will flee from you say no to anything that is not of god in your life it's a celebration day bazalwa it's a celebration day unkulunkulu makasize Sigwisizini is very interesting. Sigwisizini is manifestation and demonstration of the glory and the power of God. Sigwisizini is of the miraculous. And this is one of my creative miracles. When I learn Jobu Lanage, because in the back when my one man's show is over, my duty now as an apostle is to equip you, to give you an equipment. Amen? Yeah for the equipping of the saints for the work of the ministry because you are not saved just to go to heaven you are saved to serve in the kingdom and these signs shall follow them that believe in my name they shall cast out devils they shall lay hands upon the sick and they shall recover the believers in the name of Jesus can i see the hands of the believers can i see the hands of believers you can cast out devils you can heal the sick hallelujah you can speak in new tongues you have it you have all the powers to do it devil is a liar you can do it i come against inferiority complex i come against poor self image because you are the carrier of god's image let's make men in our image when the devil looks at you he must see jesus oh now we just say sir you have to begin by having jesus mentality glory to jesus yes all of us alone yes nempilo iphilayo mighty akhazwa what what type of a life that you are living i'm living the very life that christ lives it's no longer i who lives but christ lives in me that's the type of life that i live right now and that's why i live it by faith of the son of god it's not even my faith it is the faith of jesus christ that i'm running this life because little people si sinzwe ngomusa ngokukholwa nalokho akusikona kwethu both umusa nokukholwa akusikona kwethu because faith comes by hearing and hearing the word jeremiah i have god kind of faith 
I have got kind of life. I have got kind of power. I'm a partaker of God's divine nature. As Christ is, so I am in this world. I say, as Christ is, seated at the right hand of the Father, risen from, from the dead, having all powers given unto him, both in heaven and on earth, as he is right now, not as he was, as he is, so I am. Gabu shall pansy, Gabu shall, understand, Utumbani, when, in the name of Jesus.